Loud Shirt Day Loud Shirt Day is celebrated in New Zealand on October 21st. It's an unofficial holiday dedicated to raising awareness across New Zealand about children with hearing disabilities and impairment. There are only two major charities in New Zealand that have taken on responsibility of managing children who are deaf or hard of hearing, the Hearing House and Southern Cochlear Implant Program. Loud Short Day in New Zealand is the annual fundraising event from which these charities are raising the much-needed funds to continue to contribute to the management and rehabilitation of children who are deaf. The history of hearing difficulty and hearing loss probably dates back to thousands of years for as long as humans have existed. In modern or relatively modern history, deafness is centered on sign language and relationships among one another. Though some individuals see and treat deafness as a disability, people living with it simply consider themselves a language minority. Throughout the years, deaf people have been able to lead normal lives and function just as well as people who aren't deaf, albeit with some extra work and adaptability. Quite a number of achievements that have been credited to people who are deaf, the most famous being Beethoven and Edison, who both made positively impactful contributions to modern human culture. Laurent Clark, a deaf educator, came from France to the United States of America in 1816, and together with Thomas H. Gallaudet, an American educator, helped establish the first permanent school for deaf children in the country. The community of deaf people at the time was so recognized that there was a debate in the late 1850s about whether a separate deaf state should exist in the West. It was proposed that the deaf state would be a place where all deaf people could migrate if they choose to and live normal lives. The plan for such a state didn't materialize. In 1880, at the Second International Congress on Education of the Deaf in Milan, Italy, hearing the educators voted to adopt oral education and do away with sign language from the classrooms for deaf people. This method is intended to ease the integration of deaf children, people into hearing communities. And though there were initial arguments about whether the annual or oral method would favor deaf students better, most people now agree that the manual method is the preferred method of deaf communication. On this day, use this occasion to improve your communication proficiency with deaf people. Learn sign language. To celebrate the day, wear a shirt with bright, loud colors and show your support for Loud Shirt Day. It's super easy, all you need to start is a loud shirt.